it looks to be that we've got about 112 people on. So that's that's very good to all to in today. Uh, to be clear, this is a continuation of the Board of Ed meeting, regular meeting that we started on Tuesday the 14th. So we do not need to call to order or pledge of allegiance. Uh, we will pick up where we left off on the agenda on Tuesday, and that was the last agenda item, uh, consideration of the budget for purposes uh, of public hearing. Um, and, and, and just an administrative note, right, that public hearing will be virtual. It will be held on Tuesday, May 12th at 7 p.m. We will then have a Board of Finance special meeting on Friday, May 15th, where under the current process, the Board of Finance will will determine the budget. Um, all of this information is listed on the town website. So no, no need to necessarily memorize it or write it down here. Uh, but we would ask all folks to continue to send in, um, send in your thoughts via email and letters. You, you may recall that um, we left Tuesday's meeting discussing a number of possible cuts to the budget that was developed by the Board of Finance on March 10th. And since then, we've heard from many, many voters. Uh, and it, it kind of confirmed what we thought would be the case. And that is the, the voters of Bethel tend to be at opposite ends of the spectrum. At one end of the spectrum, we have folks who do not want an increase in the taxes, don't want an increase in spending, given the current situation uh, with, with COVID-19. On the other end of the spectrum, we have people who want the town to continue to provide services at the level that they had, uh, that they're accustomed to, and at a, an increased expense of 3.5%. Um, for every person who is expressing a heartfelt position on one end of the spectrum, there was another person expressing a heartfelt position on the other end of the spectrum. What the Board of Finance to do? Well, the only thing that we could think of was a compromise position somewhere in the middle. And so to that end, I am going to mention seven items. Bob? Uh, yes? Can you um, hold just one second? My um, screen says Cynthia has started uh, screen sharing and I have no people. Me too. Okay, um, mine says that too. I'm actually going to, I just want to Nick, um, I'm going to make him the host again real quick and we're gonna get that straightened out. And um, sorry about this, I don't know what. Uh, she might be trying to start the video and just hit the wrong thing. I did that before too. If Cynthia's on, you can there it is. Okay. So are we back to normal? Okay, we're back to normal. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we we heard we heard a, a number of folks say. Uh, that they're not happy with the decision that the Board of Finance has to determine the budget. And look, frankly, the Board of Finance wasn't looking to have to do this either. It's a new world. But, but the folks who were saying, you know, there were folks who said, you are usurping my rights to vote for a zero increase in the budget. And I understand that. We also heard from people, you're usurping my right to vote for a budget that's a three and a half percent increase. Those are just very difficult positions to reconcile. So again, what we tried to do was come up with something. And remember, this is for purposes of sending a budget to the board, uh, to the public hearing for further discussion. What we tried to do was come up with a budget that was falling somewhere in the middle. So I, I know I see Bob K and hopefully Brad is on as well. Uh, what I am about to do, I'll list, or I'll mention what the seven items are and then begin with making some motions for these seven items. And Brad, and Bob and Brad, I'll need your help to do the math to, so that we come out to the uh, the right end point. Uh, if there are further motions, we certainly can hear those, but right now it looks like we have these seven. So let me ask, Brad, are you on the line? He is. Okay. Yes, I'm here. All right, good deal. 
The first motion that I will, uh, well, let me list what these items are, uh, and then we'll go through the process of the official motions uh, for each of these items. The first item is contracted services in department 180 for an amount of $10,000. The next item is road construction department 240 for $200,000. Department 390 benefits $200,000. Department 410 utilities $40,000. I can't see what I want. Department 440, debt service, $250,000. Department 450, Board of Ed Maintenance, excuse me. Just for a second, please. 460. Yeah. 460. Department, let's start with Department. Um, Department 460, the Board of Ed Maintenance, $50,000. And then Department 450, Board of Ed Operating, for $200,000. Again, these are numbers that we were talking about on Tuesday. Uh, we've gotten a lot of input from, from folks through letters and email submissions. This was our attempt to try to find a compromise position between the two ends of the spectrum. Um, it wasn't easy, it's not easy, but again, this is for purposes of going to the public hearing for further discussion at that time. So Brad, if, if you're there listening, uh, I, will need, I will make a motion to Department 180, account 5101, to reduce that account by $10,000. I'll second that. Any discussion? Not hearing, not hearing any discussion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Then Brad, if I'm doing my math correctly, the new total in department 180, line item 101, 5101, will be 267,000. 971. Is that correct? Correct. correct. Now we have to do the math entry just for the total of the department. And I will make a motion that department 180, the total amount now will be $255,164. I'll second that. Uh, I'm showing with that reduction, it's still 275164. All right. I'm, I'm just looking at the, the sheet that's on the town website. If you have a different number, then please give that to us. All right. Hold on one second while I check uh, OpenGov as well to see what OpenGov says. <laughs> Uh, you showed 255, Bob. After the reduction of 10,000, yes. Uh, uh, the 101 account alone is 267. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. You're right. Um, so, what's the total that you have if it goes down by the 1,000? Uh, 275,164. Okay. Let me amend the motion. Uh oh. What happened? What happened? I don't know. Oh, gosh. Uh, Sticky was coming got, in and uh, it went blank again. I've got somebody else's screensaver here. I see somebody. This is not mine. Oh, no. What is this? Terry, Terry Kollowitz. Terry Kollowitz. Oh, they're oh, hacking us. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Sorry. Chinese. The Chinese are hacking us. We're back. I don't know. Is that an intentional or an unintentional? <laughs> I have a feeling it's unintentional. I, I think that if you try to share your screen, then it it's that's what pops up. So 
you know what, Dion? With me, it was because my iPhone was connected to my Wi-Fi. So if their thing is connected to their Wi-Fi, okay. boom. Okay. Yeah. Let me, let, me amend, let me amend the motion so that now the total, just the math, total for department 180 will be $275,160. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Bob, I'm sorry. Aye. Was that 275160? 164, I believe. 164. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Wendy, do you want to second that again? I will second that. Right. Any discussion? All right, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right. The next department, I will make a motion. Doubles. Department 240. Account 5404. Excuse me, Bob, just Bob Manfredo. Would you mind saying the account number and then the department or the department number and the department name? Yes, as well? sure. Yep. So this okay. is Department 240, Highway Department. Okay. Account 5404, Road Construction. I'm going to have to buy this. Reduce this amount by $200,000. The revised amount being $500,000. I'll second that. Discussion. Not hearing I, yeah, I have, I just have a comment and, uh, you know, because I'm committed to uh, getting to uh, a zero based mill rate increase. I, I'm loathe to vote yes on this, but I will. And I just want to go on record as saying, this is not my choice of, account to cut. So go ahead, carry on. Thank you for that permission. Um, so all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Vote. That passes. Next account. Uh, you need a total for the highway department now, Bob. Yep, no, I'm sorry. Thanks, Brad. Thank you for keeping me uh, honest. So that's going to be if I'm doing the math right, one million eight hundred seventy-six thousand five forty-one. Correct. All right. A motion. Bob, Bob, would you do me a favor? Just because you kind of cut in and out sometimes, would you also just when you say those numbers, just is it one eight seven six five four one? Yes, I will say it that way. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So. The motion is to department 240, highway department total, and the total revised $1,876,541, the so 1-876-541. Thank you. You're welcome. A motion? May um, you have a second? Sec a second. Discussion. Not hearing any discussion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Done. Done. The next account, oh, excuse me, the next adjustment, Department 390, Employee Benefits. The first will be to account 15114. 5114. For police pension, we reduce this number by one hundred thousand dollars to a new revised total of nine hundred. Bob, you said two hundred in the start. I'm sorry. There's two there. accounts there. Yeah, there's two accounts. Town yeah, and police. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. No, no worries. All right. So the revised total for again department. 390 employee benefits account 5114 police pension the new revi revised total there or the amount there 999,466 dollars 999466 I'll second discussion all, right. all those in favor please signify by saying aye aye, aye. Those opposed? 
motion passes. The next adjustment, again, Department 390, Employee Benefits, Account 5115, Employee Pension. The revised total here will be $1,356,990. I'll second. Okay, I'm, so that's a reduction of what? $100,000. Okay. So the revised total is one, three, five, six, nine, nine, four. Thank you. We have a second. I second. I already did. A discussion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. And, and to be clear, this adjustment is because the town was going to early adopt new standards for the pensions. We now understand for the pension accrual in the year, we now understand that there are no other municipalities in the state who are adjusting to the new standards. So we're gonna stay with the existing standards. We were hoping to get ahead of it, but given the environment, we thought we'd stay uh, kind of consistent with what we've done in prior years. So now the total, the math entry, for Department 390, the new total will be $6,103,864. 6103864. I see 6,108,864. Okay. Could be that my eyes are, uh, are going. Uh, that sounds like it was the Board of Selectmen number. You took if you took two hundred thousand off that. All right, so the two hundred thousand now would be one. Check me here, Brad. Six million one hundred and eight eight sixty four. Correct. So Dion six one zero eight eight six four. Yep, got it. Thank you. All Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. No, no, it carries. The next department is Department 410 Utilities. Uh, and 410 Department Utilities Account 321, again, Utilities. And we bring this down by $40,000 to a revised total of $2,294,045. Brad, is my math okay? Yes. Will you read that? Two, yes, sorry. Two, two, nine, four, zero, three, seven. Second. A second. Any discussion? Yep. Bob, based on, you know, previous years and the fact that this year we're most likely going to have a hundred thousand dollar surplus in that line, is it possible to reduce that further? Well, that, uh, go ahead, Bob. Okay. I, 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 I would, I would uh, go, I would go to 40,000 at this point. Um, I, I, I think this is um, a valid adjustment. To go a little bit further might be um, uh, less conservative. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend anything more than a 40 grand at this point. Any more discussion? All those then in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. John, you good so far? So all except for Brian. Yep. Okay, thank you. Sure. All right, so now do the math for department 410 Total amount two million five hundred forty nine thousand seven forty eight two five four nine seven four eight. Need a second? Second. Discussion. Jeez. 
Could you repeat that department number? I'm sorry. Department 410 Utilities. All right, utilities, got it. That's total. Thank you. Bob, what was the line item again? Five what? It's, it's a, oh, the line item for the adjustment we made? Mm -hmm. uh, that would be 5321. Thank you. Now we're just doing total. Yeah. Any further discussion on the total? Well, all those who are in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Again, that's just for total. Okay. Next item. Account, next item is account 440, debt service. I'm sorry, I want to go back just for a second. The prior adjustment was made possible because of the solar farm. We, we got some confirmation as to uh, locked in savings for the, far, the, the the next year. So this is a benefit from the solar farm uh, that was recently uh, recently calculated. So that's why we were able to take advantage of that 40. All right, the next, the next department is department 440 debt service. And it is account item, excuse me, uh, account, Line item five six three eight GO band, band principal, and the adjustment to that is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'll second it. Second, I did discussion. All those not hearing any discussion, all those who are in favor of this motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And, and, Bob, and Bob, for clarity, this is the savings which we've realized through the reduction of our uh, short term debt. That, that's right. We were able to. Yeah, I mean, just to add to it, we had placed in the budget 500000 to pay down the principal on the bands that are outstanding right now. Those bands. Being reduced would mean later on when we go to bond you know, for uh, the schools, which this is part of, we would be bonding a little bit less. There's no requirement that we would have to pay down that 250 right now. So considering what we were in the midst of, it's it's best that we uh, back off the 250 at this point. It just brings us uh, down to a position where. What I was hoping was we'd be able to get closer to the bonded amount principal of around six million dollars. This is going to bring us two hundred fifty thousand further down, and we're going to have to work our way back to it. But there's no choice; we have to do it at this this time. You know, the hope, I think the hope too, right, is that when we go to market to get these bonds funded on a permanent basis. Um, we'll get a pretty good interest rate, right? We, we, we kind of see the interest rate market, the interest rate curve, obviously reacting to the current economic situation. So the interest rate should go down. Okay, uh, doing the math on the department change, the new total for department 440 will be 4,935,713. Second. And Dion, I'm sorry, four, nine, three, five, seven, thirteen. Okay, thank you. So we have a second discussion. Not hearing any discussion. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Carries. Okay, the next adjustment is to. Department 450, the Board of Ed. In this area, the Board of Finance only has bottom line authority. So this is an adjustment to the bottom line number and it will be a reduction of $200,000. I'll second that. Let me do the quick math, sorry. Sorry, was that Wendy? Yes. So the revised total is 47 million nine hundred and sixty nine thousand eight zero eight hundred and seven so four seven 
Nine six nine eight zero seven. We have. Is that your hand up, Cynthia? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I should raise my hand virtually. Right, we um, oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah. Um, what's the? What does that um, make the increase of the board of ed? Hey, Brad. You got that number there? Yep, so that would make the Board of Ed increase year over year 3.349%. Okay. How much, what's the dollar amount? One second. One million five hundred fifty-four thousand three hundred and thirty-four. So one million five five four three three four. Okay. I, can, I, can I ask a question, Bob? Um, May I, Freda? If, if one were to amend a motion, would that, I mean, if one wanted to propose an additional reduction, would that come now or after we're doing this? Because I'm not sure how we're doing this. You're giving a lot of motions, making a lot of motions, so. I mean, I can wait till afterwards and because and, I have a whole list of things, but. Yeah, I think this is an attempt to be faithful to Robert's rules. So I, I think. I'm all about Robert's rules. So, you know. That's why I think at this point you would make a motion to amend the motion, at which point we may sure. start losing a good number of the 148 people who are on the call, but. I may what? <laughs> we, not you. We may run the risk of losing a number of people on the 100 and now. <laughs> Now it's 147, just going mm -hmm. through, you know, the stuff that we go through. But yes, please. Okay. Now you you just proposed 200,000? Yeah. Okay. And I second that. So you okay. Can... okay, very good. But first, I, I want to say what I base it on. Um, I would like to add to that 227,000, and I'm going to explain why. So that would be 427. And that is based on... Um, what it costs per day for salaries. And they don't have to take this as, you know, my thinking was furlough day. They don't have to do it that way. But that was my uh, thinking, that a furlough day would cost $227,000. And I, you know, we're all in this together kind of thing. That's the only way that I can think of to, you know, draw in participation from the Board of Education. So I would like to propose 427,000 from the Board of Ed, bottom line. Uh, Cynthia, Robert, you're furloughing, you're furloughing whom? Would be the salaries. I took the salaries and figured out what it would cost per day, what all the salaries per day cost. So it's not it's asked. Teachers so and administrators. Huh? Teachers and administrators? Everyone who gets a paycheck. Cynthia, needs a, huh? Cynthia need needs a second to her amendment. Second for discussion? Yes. You need a second to your amendment. Yes. Is anybody going to second your amendment? I would second it for discussion in respect to Cynthia. Okay. That's fine. We just needed that. Go ahead, Cynthia. Well, the discussion is, um, I'm trying to figure out, I mean, I, you know, at the risk of being, you know, being accused of not being grateful to teachers, I am. I also know that we're very, very uh, constrained by unions and negotiations with unions. And I don't think that uh, uh, unions, the union would be willing to renegotiate. So this is a way that and again i can't tell them to do this with a furlough day but this is my thinking that a furlough day would cost this much and this would be a symbol or a gesture of we're in this together which i see that hashtag everywhere so and i feel like we're not in this together so i just want us all to be in this together basically and that's what i was thinking. I'd like to call Cynthia's um, amendment to a vote. 
Well, there's discussion, and I think uh, somebody wanted to say something, but okay. I did. Uh, I'm sorry, we already, I think we have someone who called the question. Is that what you were doing, Wendy? That's what I would like to do. There's no second to that yet, though. Bob, I don't know if you saw Matt, he raised his hand. We have, right now we've got a motion to, we need a second to call. Second. Okay. That's all. Uh, so all those in favor of Cynthia's motion, I'm sorry, Cynthia, give me the number one more time. 427. Even, okay. Uh, for a reduction, modified amend, uh, modified motion to reduce department 450 by $427,000. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Nay. Okay, so Cynthia voted yes. Who else voted yes? Okay, everybody else was no. Okay, thank you. So now back to the original motion. Uh, I believe we have it seconded. Yes. Any further discussion? Not hearing any further discussion. Bob, I'm sorry. I know this thing is all scripted here tonight, but the other night we talked about 300, and that doesn't even put a dent in it. And if we are all in together, I think there should be more cuts. I don't think it should be 427. I think we should go back to the 300. But I understand that there's been agreements made. So I just want to say I believe there's some other cuts that should be made in this account. So I just wanted to be on a record for that. Fair enough. And you're right. I, I, I should have delivered this a little bit better. You're right. When we were talking Tuesday, we talked about 300000 in this account. I think where, where I came out based on a lot of input from, from letters and emails. And again. I, it's written. I got it. I got it. I'm good. It, 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 we're we're going gonna... to. No. Okay. Procedurally, Bob Manfreda, did we vote on calling the question? I know that. It was second for discussion. Wendy seconded it. Right. So we have to vote on calling the question. All those, all those in favor of calling the question, please signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. Nay. I don't think that's um, procedurally. A that needs to be seconded. Mm, I think it is. All right, well, look, we got, we got where we needed to be, and we've got a lot of people on the call, so let's let's keep moving forward. Okay, go ahead. Substance of it. All right, so, so now we're at the point, I, 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 right, of, of voting on the first motion. So the total in Department 450, total number 47,969,800. Nine hundred sixty-nine thousand eight zero seven. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. One more. Okay. Aye. You know, what, Bob, can you just wait one second? Um, I think it would be easier because some of you are cutting in and out a little bit. If they, if you voted yes for that, would you raise your hand up where I could see it? So if it was a yes vote. I think it was unanimous, right? Yes. I no, Cynthia. I I I not to, have. I, I'm sorry. I'm conflicted because I don't think it's enough. So I, if I vote no on this amount, that means I think it's not the right amount. So is that correct? Yes. Yes. So I, I'm voting no. Okay, Brian. I'm sorry. Do you have? So I. So I see Nick's hand, Wendy's hand, Bob's hand. Daylene's hand and Robert's hand. Those are the hands that are raised. Brian's hand. Nick, is your hand raised? Yep. yep, yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, last department, department 460, building maintenance for education. Uh, we reduced this by $50,000. And Brad, give me what's the final of that number if we take it down by 50? Is it 445? 
Yes, 445,000. Okay. Um, so take that balance down by 50,000 to come to a revised total of $445,000. Second. Second. Discussion. Not hearing any discussion. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Yes. All right. So I think, I think we're done. Well, I'm done with those motions. Are there any other motions that folks would like to make? I'd like to make a motion. I thought it was very nice of Tim Beeble and Nancy Ryan to come up and take 2600 out of 330. I believe it was a salary account. Make a motion to take 2600 out of 330. Okay. And thank you. Nancy and Tim, that was very nice to come to the table. It doesn't come out of 330. It comes out of wage contingency, right? Yes. Yeah. Don't take it out of 330, please. <laughs> you need it. You do need it. Thank you, Nancy. Um, if, you if the board remembers, the 2600 was actually never added back to wage adjustments. Oh, I thought it was. Oh yeah. Well, but wasn't it put somewhere else, Brad? Or or it was in limbo? Uh no, I believe Mr. Kozlowski said that um we can make do without the twenty six hundred in there. But I just want to let you know that we did not actually add the twenty six hundred to wage adjustments. So is is there money in there to take out then? Or or that Tim and Nancy didn't realize we never put it in there. Uh, I'm sorry. When uh, we uh, during the course of the deliberations, we had moved it over, or we talked about moving it over to wage contingency, but uh, it was never done. Uh, we never really got it into the budget process, but we said that there would be enough in wage contingency to take the twenty six hundred dollars out. Theoretically, there's twenty six hundred dollars in there that we could probably, if you want to, continue your motion to take twenty six hundred dollars out of the. Wage. All right, I'll switch. Not, the so wage. Much for, not so much for, um, you know, the registrars, but in general. Right. Again, I'll amend my motion to come out of wage contingency for the amount of 2600 noting that Tim and Nancy thought it was in their account already. Okay. Brad, give me, uh, give us the... Second. the Second, his motion, his amended motion. Give it, well, we need... I think we need the department and the account, or did I miss that? No, the, we need it. The department would be 420 miscellaneous charges and transfers, and the account is 5353 wage adjustments. And the new total for that would be 322,778. 322,778. Thank you, Brad. Yep. Okay. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you again, uh, Nancy and Tim. Thanks, Nick, for bringing that one up. All right, we need to do the total, right? Yes. Well, any other, any well, other motions? Uh, no, Bob. Any other what? Bob, any other you hear? done with his list? Is there any other motion for cuts? No, no, we have to do we have to do the total yeah. and oh, oh, oh. the total oh. for the line or the total for that account. For the department four twenty. Brad, can you Yep. So that total for account uh department four twenty is one million seventy five thousand two seven eight. So one million zero seven five two seven eight. Okay. All those in favor. Oh, well, um, so we need a motion. Nick, yep. follow it through. Nick, so moved. So Nick made a motion to bring the total to reflect the 2600 reduction. 1075278, seconded by Robert, I believe. Yes. Yes. Now, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Um, that was the list that I had. Um, I would suggest that we go to public hearing with this budget. 
I have an I have an additional motion if I might. You certainly might. If I might. Could, just, could we could I ask a question before Cynthia makes another motion? Could we just possibly summarize what the budget cuts that we have currently just completed would be in terms of um, percent increase, um, the mill rate, and then let's talk about what taxpayers would actually pay in addition to what they already pay. So Brad, can you yep. walk us through the, um, the, the spreadsheet that does provides all that info for us yeah. on, with, on operating? So it's a $952,600 cut to the budget. Um, the increase in the mill rate based on our estimated revenue is 0.33 mills, which is a 0.98% increase in the mill rate. And the average of a $217,000 assessed home, it would increase their taxes by $70.88. I'll give you all those numbers again. So it's 0.33 up in the mill rate, a 0.98% increase in the mill rate, and the average assessed home of 217 would go up $70.88 for the year. So we've decreased, thank you, Brad, very much. And so we've decreased the percentage of increase by 2.515. So we've taken 2.5% out of the budget just in the work that we've just done. Brad, hearing. Yes, what, yeah. What would be the, uh, the base of that? What would be the dollar amount of the base? The total budget, are you asking, Cynthia? No, the, the 7,250 per, the, the tax increase. Oh, what the base 7, of the house yeah. is? You're yes, going to have to exactly. give me a second. Median house. I think it was 7,249 when we yeah. talked on Tuesday. Yeah, 7,250, 7, 7,249. Yep, just give me a second to run it so I could just make sure I give you the right number. Thank you. Uh, so the current, based on the current, um, as the estimated mill rate we have now, that same house, their yearly tax bill would be seven thousand, uh, seven thousand three hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Look, hold on, let me double check this for a second. Seven thousand three hundred twenty-one dollars. Thank you. Yep. And Brad, just to continue this, can you can you give us the breakdown by categories? Sure. Well, okay. Um, you have the you got the board voted on the board of ed budget to be forty seven million nine six nine eight zero seven. Debt service was voted on to be four million nine three five seven one three. The town portion, which is the town operating. Board of Ed maintenance and debt is 31,795,203 for a total budget of 79,765,010, a 2.27% increase year over year. Uh, Bob, I don't know if you got, is my audio working? Yes. Oh, okay. I just wanted to, you know, comment on. Daylene, I, I understand where, you know, you were kind of talking about the spending decrease and whatnot, but, you know, I do want to remind that there's still 970,000 roughly of grandless growth that's included in that number to get there. So it's not like the increase is only the actual increase in spending is still over uh, one point, you know, eight million dollars and that compounds every year. And like I said, we've had some great years with growth in the grand list. With the uncertainty where we're at now, we don't know what the grand list is going to grow in the upcoming years. You know, there's, I think the recent report was there's over 15 or almost 20 million Americans out of work. And who knows what that's going to do. All I'm saying is, you know, I'm fine with saying that it's a 0.33% increase in the mill rate, but let's not forget the increase in spending too. And that's always there and it never goes away. And as our grand list shrinks, those increases become much tougher to support. 
And, you know, I know we're about to get to the final number and my personal feelings still remain that we should find savings this year that we could carry over into next year to get this to a zero mil increase. So, you know, when we get to the budget vote, I am gonna vote no, and that is the reason. I just really think we should capture some savings this year. If we have to reduce capital non-reoccurring and pay with cash out of the fund balance, I would support that. But overall, without a vote on this budget, I truly feel that we need to keep this at a zero mil increase. And that's that's all I'll say. And I'll try and lower my hand, Dion. I don't know if I can. No, I can. <laughs> okay. I can do it. <laughs> all right, thank you. I'd like to make a motion, please. But can I, I just want to, Brian? I I take your point. I just want to make sure because um, I think I think maybe you misspoke on one thing. It's a 0.33 mil rate increase. It's less than a one percent spending increase. Or sorry, it's what less than a one okay, percent sounds- tax increase. It's less than a 1% tax right, increase. Right, but, but the spending increase is still over 2%, correct? I don't two think we point, can. Two point, yeah, I think it's over 2.5%. Yep. Brad could give us that yeah. number. It's Fine, but I think when you. 2.27. How much, Brad? 2.27. Yeah. Thank you. But I think um, just so people are clear, it's a 0.33 mill rate increase. It's less than 1% tax increase. It equates to, for the average home, $71.61 additional in the year. And that's about, five, well, it's exactly five ninety six dollars a month. So just that's, to be clear on what it, it nets out to given the grand list growth. And I take your point, Brian. Okay. And, and I'd just like to comment further, Brian. I think none of us are thrilled with tax increases, but the fact that our community has new schools going up and we have increased financing rates for those. The fact that we have uh, contract um, union workers and salary increases tied to those which are not controlled by on the local level, in order to get a zero increase, we would actually have to go backwards and find some area where we're mm-hmm. actually reducing town services uh, or school in order to get there. And so, you know, granted, we're maybe about $800,000 away from a zero increase. That's a far, far road to go in order to get there at this point in time. So I I appreciate your thought. I don't think anybody in this call would say we love paying taxes. But the bottom line is is that we're in a community which is growing and we need to support the, the, the that growth. That's my piece. Let me raise my hand. Can I make a comment, Robert? I, I, this Facebook stuff, these letters, to say that we don't support the school system with spending over $50 million a year between debt services, salaries, maintenance, utilities, we support this, this school system. We all have kids in this school system. And I hate when we, you know, we're accused of not supporting the school system. Fifty plus million dollars a year. I'm pretty sure we support the school system. That's it. You're here. I agree with you. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Brian. Cynthia, did you want to say something? I raised my hand. Yeah. So. Um, I'll tell you what wouldn't have been a, a union contract would be uh, uh, one furlough day a year. That wouldn't even have to go through the unions. That would go um, through the Board of Ed. But that said, um, I want to make a motion. And I'm, I I always want to say what I base it on. A Reuter, an article in Reuters today, Reuters, which is a very respected publication. Here's the headline. Millions unemployed, home building collapses as coronavirus ravages U.S. economy. So with that, because I believe that home building is gonna come to a screeching halt and that whatever um, dreams and speculations we have about our grand list are not going to bear fruit, I would like to make a motion to cut an additional uh, 15, actually $15,000 from the building department, number 180 from the line um, 
the, the salaries for part-time for part-time uh, 5101 I would second that 5101 is that what you said Cynthia yes yes ma'am I'd like to address that if I may Mr. Chair sure you're breaking up you are you're breaking up how's this is that better a little bit okay uh, at this time, the building department is not showing any signs of slowing down. Uh, to Cynthia's point, it might later in the year. But right now, there's enough stuff in the pipeline uh, that they expect to be busy, uh, as, as busy as they were last summer, through the summer. It's stuff that's in process already. It's already permitted. Uh, most of the stuff is already uh done construction and now it's uh, it's just uh, some of it most of it is still actually going away or going on because construction is considered a, an essential business um, i would ask that you not pass this i will tell you this though if there is a slowdown then that uh the, the extra salary that we asked for is part-time help only and if that's not needed we won't use it it won't go away but i'm going to ask you not to not to, uh, to pass this because there's already enough stuff in the pipeline right now to keep them as busy as they were last year. And last year, as I might have mentioned before, they got behind in inputting uh, their computer records by 90 days, which is untenable. Uh, they've been struggling for extra help for several years. So again, if, if business drops off, then that part-time help will not be pulled in. But I would ask that you not take that away at this point. It's uh, it's. That's a very tenuous thing to do. You're a no, right? I'm sorry, what's that? He's not voting. You're a no, He's You're not, a no right? He's not voting. Oh, come on, I, can't, I can't vote. I, I, I can't vote. I'm just Please, trying to give you the information. Thank you, Matt, thank you. Any more discussion? Yes, to Matt's point, um, if they're going to be as busy as they were last year, then they can, hopefully can make do with what they had last year. Uh, and this, no. Not, this is, no, no, don't. I'm not having a conversation. I'm just, to Matt's point, I'm just making a sort of a, comment that um and it's not even taking away the entire increase here's the problem you, you're right it it doesn't show that yet i again talked to my guy pat flaherty at the labor department this he said this is going to be the worst unemployment since it's going to be bigger than the depression 1929 it's going to be bigger than 2008 it's it's kind of a real buzz uh you know buzz kill when someone loses their job and they're in the middle of building a house so i don't think they're going to even have i'm telling you i'm not trying to be the prophet of doom i'm trying to be very realistic because i don't think you're i think that this is happening so quickly we're not going to have the data and i you know mark my words you're going to see this in, in june and july that it's going to start tanking and then you know so so if it doesn't then we can come back and maybe you know make a few adjustments but right now there is no way that i would vote for for uh any increase on this. so thank you and good night bob can we move the question yeah uh, i think we're done right no more discussion move the question oh. that requires another motion no, you can just move. You can just say vote. All yeah. those in favor of this motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, no. I take that back. Opposed. Oh. No, no tag backs. If you or, vote yes, can you raise your hand? Okay, we were just voting on moving the question, correct? Uh, no. Or, discussion is over. This is the substance of the question. Okay. Sorry. Can we restate the motion then just to allay confusion? The motion was to take 15,000 out of building departments part time. It's 35,000 in there. Well, and the salary, motion. 5101. At a part time salary, right. Salary, right. not part time salary, salary. Yeah. Well, can, can, I just, can I just bring a point up? I think, Cynthia, that's on top of the 10,000 that was cut at the beginning of the meeting. Yes. Did, oh no, I'm. Still, you know what? Thank you for reminding me of that. I I really apologize. I'm going to amend my motion to make it five thousand, adding to the ten. I amend it to reduce five one hundred one of account 
180 building department by five thousand dollars the first thing i'm sorry just for i need clarity. a second i need a second second discussion i'm sorry bob the first thing was contracted services i thought it was ten thousand in the first one wasn't it it's Wait a minute. the same it's the same line account. In, it's in the description as it's, okay but yeah no it's not. it's not in the deep description if you pull on the carrot it's called part-time salary contracted services my bad i got you in the 5101 okay. i think it's the same okay. i've had okay i'm sorry i have that in the salary i have additional for part-time help and then in contracted services i have due to con uh, software costs so do you want to get what, what's your motion then Cynthia? I'm going to rescind my amended motion because I want to take 15,000 out of salaries. That was my intention. So I'll rescind my amendment. I apologize for the confusion. So the motion. We a, do we have a second of Cynthia's motion? What well, for discussion? Yeah, I want to sec I'll second. Okay, so, I just, I, I'm sorry. sorry. I just need to know exactly where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. So you, so the motion for the 15K you're rescinding? And no. for, my, line, that was for, the one I tried to amend, the one I said amending to five. So you rescind that? Yes. Okay. Going back to 15. Okay, okay. It's All right, thank you. So you so gone back. You've gone back to the 15K out of line item 5101 in um, the building department. One yes. Thank okay. You. Thank you. So can I just I'm, ask? I'm sorry. Can, can, somebody, can somebody explain what's coming out of where? Is it as is, is sorry, the motion to help? Is a is a motion to reduce the part time help or something else? I I, I lost you. You guys lost me. The, the motion was help. to reduce part time help by right. fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Hold on a second. Can I explain what it is? The increase to the salary line of the building department says specifically it's for part time help. That part time help is to process all the building permits. I just quoted Reuters. That's the basis for my motion. And my okay. motion is to reduce that line by $15,000. People can vote no. That's my motion. It's been seconded. Okay. Just can remember, I just ask a question, Bob? 5101 includes part time and full time employees. Yeah, that's too much. The increase, the increase says it's for part time help. That wow. the increase is due to part time help. So I'm sorry, that's what it says. So I don't well, have their specific one on one is not just part time help, it's all wages for the department. But, but the increase says additional for part time help. The increase is for part time help. There was a piece that was part time help. The other piece was their normal raises. Okay. That is not, that does not seem to be parsed out in my open go. So probably not. No. Can I can I ask a question, Bob? Yeah. If we were going to reduce the part time level to what it was last year, this year, I'm sorry, not last year, this year, what not would that reduction be to keep it at the same level it is this year? I think we have to go down to twenty five thousand in total. That was the the the, uh, the part time building instructor. Uh, inspector, and then also uh, in, uh, part time help to keep up with the new uh, right. permits. The, uh, and then we were adding a oh. little bit more because we we're anticipating additional work next year, 2021. Right. So, what's the number to keep the level at this the can same I, this year? Not can increasing I answer this for a second. Time. Yeah. Uh, Brad's so, got, Brad. I don't have the spreadsheet open. Brad's okay. got it open so we can answer that question. So, the 2021 requested increase was an additional twenty thousand dollars to part-time salaries um so far the board of finance has reduced that by five thousand during normal uh deliberations and another ten thousand tonight so to keep them flat with their part-time help it'd be an additional five thousand dollars okay i'm sorry okay. Dion, but now okay. i want to amend my motion okay because now i understand exactly what happened I'm going to amend my motion to reduce that part-time help line by 
$5,000 and that would be uh, 5101 part-time help building inspection 180. If someone would second my amendment. Second. Discussion. <coughs> Not hearing any discussion, let's vote on the motion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Okay, so so what I saw was the yes votes was Brian, Nick, and Cynthia. No votes was Bob, Robert, Daylene, and Wendy. Correct. Correct. Thank you. I'm really sorry for the confusion, Dion. I really no, that's okay. It. Hey, we it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I know. you're a little in a little square. I don't even know who you are. All right. Any any more discussion of that? A uh, discussion or motions? Motion. So, Bob, not trying to step on your toes, but you would you just it didn't that motion didn't pass. Just to let everybody know. Right. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. motion did not pass. Mm -hmm. Can I make a motion to send what we have to the public hearing? Sure you can. Second. All righty. Shouldn't we know the amount? Yeah, Brad's going to say all those amounts. And break okay. it out down to Board of Education and Debt Service or however we break it out. All right. So the Board of Ed has been voted on at 47 million. 969807. Uh, that service has been voted on. Whoa, 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 Brad, I'm sorry. Will you just say those numbers individually? Just sure. Uh, Board of Ed, 47 million, 969807. Thank you. Board, Board of Ed maintenance is 445,000. Debt service is 4 million. Nine three five seven one three. Town operating is twenty six million four one four four nine zero. The other number you need is town operating plus debt service plus board of ed maintenance, and that number is thirty one million seven nine five two zero three. So thirty one. <clears throat> 795203 for an overall total budget of 79 million 765010 which is a 2.7 percent increase in expenses year over year and that is my motion to send that to a um, public hearing on May 12 yes and um i think robert had already seconded that yes all right discussion discussion uh, the motion. I, just, I well i'd like some discussion i just want to go on record as saying that despite the um the flurry of letters that you know, Bob Manfreda categorized as opposing sides and to meet in the middle. Those letters came in a, in a, in a span of four hours. And, and I have 53 letters counted that were um, 0%, that wanted 0% increase. Some were sent to me, some most were sent to Dion in the, the, the budget email address. So I don't categorize that as being a meet in the middle kind of scenario. If this were to go to refer referendum right now in this climate, I think it would fail. That's just my opinion. So I, I feel very uncomfortable sending this to the people because we're not sending it to the people. We're sending it to a public hearing. Now, we also know that many people have varying levels of technical expertise which sometimes might preclude them from participating or even listening or whatever to these, uh, these um, uh, meetings. So I just putting that out there and I will be voting no. I'd like to make a comment. 
there's a lot of people that's contacted me also, and they're not willing to stand up in a meeting and put their stance because they don't want to be called names on social media. Yeah. The other side likes to call names because if someone believes something different, they think they can call people names and, you know, and beat them down and try to quiet them. And I teach my kids not to do that. I'm appalled what was done in the last couple of days. But saying that, I think it's too high for the for the people not to have a chance to vote on it. So I will be voting no. I have a question for uh, Mr. Knicker, Knickerbocker, if you will. Uh, I don't know if your audio is up. In terms of the public hearing, other than having this Zoom format and people speaking, will it be an opportunity to submit uh, opinions, uh, writings, and, and, and letter to the site like we've done here? Or is it all, all through Zoom? Yes, uh, before the governor issued his executive, the executive order that spelled out more of the, pr the process here, I had actually written a draft of a letter that I sent to uh, Mr. Manfreda and uh, Mrs. O'Brien. And basically what it outlined was uh, a two week process where uh, the idea I had, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna defer to Bob Manfreda on this because it's actually a board of finance hearing. But my proposal was to send a budget summary in the mail to every household, uh, U.S. mail, with a uh, with a, a address where they could uh, mail uh, comments in or use email to, come to bring comments in, and then also use an electronic format, which is specified in the governor's order as well. Um, our charter does uh, prevail in this. The charter says that there has to be a minimum of 10 days in between this vote tonight and when you hold a public meeting, Mr. Man, uh, you know the, the next meeting, the, the public hearing, I should say, uh, Mr. Manfreda has already outlined that that, that you've got uh, plenty of time for that. That's a lot more than the ten-day minimum. So uh, that's uh, you know Bob and I will discuss that. But that was my proposal: is to publish it online as well as you use U.S. mail for those households that don't use computers. Oh, and. We're also still required to publish in the paper too, as usual. So you'd have three methods to get it out. Thank question you. for Manfreda. Question for Manfreda. Um, will the, would the written letters be read out at the virtual public hearing so that they may be heard publicly? No, that's not been our practice. Well, it hasn't. Nothing's been our practice. We have a pandemic. How do we then address Nick's issue about people not? <laughs> Okay. okay. Bob, I would I would suggest that your board could vote on that procedure if you wanted to. It's up to you. Matt, Matt, Matt while you're there, how come Brookfield is a referendum in the beginning of June and, and the town of Bethel can't? Don't we have the same style of government? <laughs> yes, but we have different deadlines. Our our under executive order seven C dash five. The governor's uh, governor's executive order granted a 30-day extension on the budget process. Um, our timeline, if you look at our charter, it's driven by the charters, and our charter calls for that budget process to begin essentially on April, in the first week of April for the town meeting, followed by a uh, followed by a referendum no no more than 14 days later. Uh, Brookfield Charter has their uh, process doing the same thing, but starting in the middle of May. So they can hold that refer. They can do their uh, board of finance vote. They're doing it the same way, by the way. But they can hold their vote in June and still be within the 30-day guideline that's consistent with their charter. So it's the language in their charter, basically. Yes. That's the well, charter, thank you for the yeah. What a, a lot of people are confused by that, but the executive orders don't exist in a vacuum. They still refer back to the individual charters in every town for their timelines. But that's the first time I heard the explanation from you, so that was good. Okay, thank you. That's because the charter Mr. Chairman, in 2014 uh, oh, sorry, moved the date for all this one month ahead. That changed in the charter in, I think, was it 2014, Matt, or 15? Um, 15. I think, I think we both it took it. effect in, no, no, it was 14. You're right, it was 14. Yeah. All right, now, let me let me just say one thing, and then we Brian's had his hand up patiently. There will be a board of selectmen meeting on twenty first of April. Again, the the timing here is not a board of finance matter. 
It was set by the Board of Selectmen uh, in consultation with town council. If folks have questions about how we got to the May 15th deadline, I would ask you to pursue those questions at the Board of Selectmen meeting on April 21st. Again, that's not, that's not our jurisdiction. We're kind of the line soldiers and we're, we're moving towards a May 15th deadline, which is why we went to the very last day to pick the, to determine in the end the budget. So just wanted to get that out as a public administration notice. Brian, you, you've had your hand up. I just wanted to encourage everyone. I know we have over a hundred people in here to actually contact the selectman's office, urge them to contact the governor and give us more time. So hopefully we can get this to the point where the public can vote on it. I think, um, you know, I understand these are uncharted times, but when people elected us to the board of finance, it was not to set their budget. What it was was to propose a budget and to let them vote on it. So I'm personally urging the selectmen, I'll be at that meeting and anyone else who uh, feels as strongly about it as I do, I'm encouraging you to, to email you know our selectmen and let them know your feelings about it. Thanks. Absolutely. To, to that end, I would like to make a motion that the letters and emails that come in for the public hearing about the budget be read out loud at the public hearing. Does anyone want to second that? I'll second it. Discussion. Is there a time limit for each of the letters? Up to you guys. Why would, why would there be? Is it, if there's a time limit for somebody speaking, I guess they could be read really quickly. Like yeah. you know, really quickly. <laughs> my I mean, my only they're gonna write. They're gonna my, not write as much as someone would talk. Honestly. Well, I mean, the emails that have come in have been very different lengths. So my only concern is, will we be able to get this done in one evening? It is not to silence anyone in any way, but I think tactically okay. we have to think about if we get 150 letters and they're each three minutes long. That's well, quite a long I meeting. hope you do get 150 letters, and I will just refer back to when uh, the chairman of the Board of Ed read two very long memos into the record during an input session. So we just don't know. That's an unknown variable. I would like to give everyone right. the opportunity to weigh in, since we are in an unprecedented situation. The people have no vote, and I don't think there should be any time constraints on anything. Way for us Make, use technology to make people's letters available to the entire yeah. Can yeah. We have instead them? of instead of reading them at the meeting we can yeah, actually can have be, them can be, that's an idea too yeah. they could be uploaded to the to the meeting site and made available before the meeting i mean that's that would perfect. be a way for people to read everyone's letters Correct. at their discretion and in their time yeah. that's a good um, idea as long as there's a sort of um you know some kind of process where they'll get uploaded real as soon as they come in and not just you know and I know Dion will do that right you I know Dan's very good at that <laughs> and I will have to say um Brian I see your hands raised um let me just... oh, it's an accident oh okay <laughs> um I um you know there was a little miscommunication with the news times and they announced this board of finance as the public hearing and um <laughs> Was a a lot of emails um, that were shared with the board of finance for this meeting, um, rightfully so. Um, I think that we would have to also acknowledge the fact that we have all of these letters, and are those going to you know? It, Good question. Side to do this, then it is going to then these people are going to need if they want their letters read, they're going to need to after this date, I would think, um, resend those letters for the public hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to read them. Dion. I think what you're saying is maybe to be responsive to Nick's concern. If folks don't want their letters to put to be put into the public domain, there's got to be a way of electing out of that public disclosure. Well, I, I, and yeah, I guess what I'm saying, and you know, I think that there were just a lot of people who took the time and energy um, to share their their feelings um, for this meeting and for your ears. And um, it, you know, I just wouldn't want public hearing time to come around and then them feel like that they were jaded because their letters and their concerns weren't read out loud. So somehow or another, 
we would have to share with the public that if they want their letters to be public, it would be to resend them for the public hearing because everything that we've received up until today was for this meeting tonight. And there was a lot. Leon, I'm, I'm sorry. Great. <laughs> we're not, I think what we're talking about is not reading them at the public hearing. I, I can't say that I'm not saying not read them. I'm saying that, you know, I think that there's two different meetings that have happened here and there was public comment that was shared for this Board of Finance meeting. And you have a whole file full of letters that was sent for that. You are going to have, you're announcing the date for the public hearing. And if you are going to go with this agenda of, of reading those letters or making them available, then it just needs to be stated that a lot of people have already shared their beliefs, their feelings, and I just wouldn't want them to not feel like their voice was not heard just because they didn't hear their letter read. Um, does that make does that make sense? Yeah. To I'm going to rescind yeah. my motion for to them to be read, but I want to ask that Knickerbocker, could it be put into your um, mailing that I, like please put in the subject line public hearing or something that they would all put in the subject line so that it would would alert that this right that would be for the public hearing. Yes. That yeah, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah, that and I think that we could at that point then all letters that have been submitted we could put them in that document and be, then be shared that way. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> so, so Cynthia, did you rescind your motion? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Leon, I've I've lost where we are. <laughs> Um, so really, at this point, we were we were talking about making a motion or actually the motion was made to vote on the total. And then we got sidetracked on the public hearing. Um, so if people are ready, we can go ahead and make a, a make a vote on the original motion for the total budget. Sending it to public hearing. Sending it to the public hearing. Okay. And let me ask this because we already have made a motion to send this to the public hearing. So really this is not a motion. You need to amend your original motion. Would that be correct? Why, no, why would we be amending our original motion? The motion that I made was for the dollar amounts and to send it to the public hearing on May 12th. So that motion that we voted on that doesn't there's no, no i guess i'm going back to the may may i'm sorry march 10th meeting where we voted to send this to the public hearing that didn't happen so if it doesn't need to be an amended motion that's fine i'm just asking i would imagine the time has lapsed right we're past the yeah so so this is just another original motion okay i just wanted to make sure oh, it's a good point it's a technicality but a good point All right yep. so, We've got Wendy's motion on the table. Did we have, was it seconded? It was. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Robert, I believe. Robert, seconded. yep. At the risk of losing my mind, any more? <laughs> All right. Bob, if you go around the horn when we're voting instead of everybody screaming, just where everybody's at, so everybody knows. That's an idea. Sure. I'm gonna start, that would be great. I'm gonna start down the bottom of the screen. Deline, how do you vote on the motion? Um, we're voting to send um, yes. these changes to public. Yeah, okay. So I vote yes. Okay. Nick? I'm voting no because I believe there's more cuts, but I'll leave it at that. Brian? I'll vote no. Wendy? I will vote yes. Cynthia? I will vote no. Robert? I vote yes. I'm the last, and I will vote yes as well. So the motion passes. We'll be sending this to public hearing on Tuesday, May 12th. Motion to adjourn. Yeah, we Second. Just, just oh. administrator. Oh, you're still talking. I think I'm losing your mind now. <laughs> administrative point, public hearing, virtual, Tuesday. May 12th, 7 p.m. Look for materials on the website. 
uh, from that point, we probably will also send it uh, snail mail. We're trying to get as many people to, to weigh in as possible. So we're going to try to really go through as many communication channels as are available to us. Okay, is this backwards? Can everybody? No, no, it's not. Okay, so just because we are lucky enough to have 127 people that are sitting on this Zoom meeting, if you have comments that you would like to make, will you please use this email address? It has been set up specifically for this budget process. It is budget at Bethel-CT.gov. This information will be sent out in the mailer that each um, home receives. It will be in the newspaper and it will also be on social media and our website, but you can go ahead and jot it down right now if you'd like to. Okay. Bethel-CT.gov. Okay, that was my little infomercial. There you go. <laughs> Good job, Good Dan. Yeah. All right. I think we have a motion to adjourn and a second. All those nope. I seconded it. Yes. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Well, thank you all again for attending tonight's meeting. We are now adjourned. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.